It is the 27th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start you off with the extinction protocol tonight. Uh, we got the sabers rattling. Turkey to be hit it by Iran if nuclear program is attacked by Israel and the United States. So Iran is definitely threatening to bring uh, Turkey into this. Uh, severe storm and strong winds last Sri Lanka, 17 dead and 13 missing. Uh, heavy rains and gale force winds. And more economic stuff. Uh, they've got the, the earthquake swarm in El Salvador. And uh, we have a solar storm, solar radiation storm and shock waves send CME towards Earth. A minor radiation storm is in progress. The protons making up this storm will accelerate towards Earth by shock waves in a CME. Uh, that left the sun around 700 UT on November 26th. This event could have an effect on high latitude HF radio communications. A solar wind flowing from the southern coronal hole could reach Earth as early as November 29th. Solar wind speed is currently 364 kilometers per second with a proton density of 4.3 according to Spacewatch. And that's about all they have tonight. Now over to the watchers. Uh, NASA went ahead and launched that uh, Mars probe. NASA has launched its next Mars rover, kicking off a long-awaited mission to investigate whether the Red Planet could ever have hosted microbial life. Uh, the, Cur the Curiosity rover blasted on top its Atlas V rocket today, on uh, November 26 at 10.02 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, streaking into the cloudy sky above Cape Canaveral Air Force Station here. Uh, huge robots, next stop is Mars, though the 354 million mile journey uh, will take eight and a half months. Uh, they're pretty assured that it's on course and everything's okay with that, and that's the one with plutonium payload. Uh, they keep launching into, into orbit all this plutonium. Tropical Cyclone 5A forms over Arabian Sea. An area of disturbed weather has developed southwest of Cape Comorin of India and is now becoming a tropical cyclone. Uh, the system named 05A is currently tracking northwest over the Arabian Sea. Model forecasts are pushing the system to the northwest, even carrying the system into the northeast uh, when the system encounters a strong westerly winds aloft. Uh, but they're saying before it hits these counterwinds, it's it's unfavorable to strengthen some more. Uh, dust storms off the shore of Argentina. They caught some satellite photos of this, and uh, I'm sure this has a lot to do with all the volcanic ash uh, spreading all over Argentina. And they've got a story, Black Friday Solar Eclipse. Um, earlier today, November 25th, the new moon passed in front of our sun, slightly off-center, producing a particular solar eclipse visible from Antarctica, Tasmania, and parts of South Africa. New Zealand, maximum coverage occurred about 100 miles off the coast of Antarctica. Uh, one of my viewers, my subs, actually caught this um, partial solar eclipse through a welding mask out of New Zealand. I will attach his video below. Uh, please, and he's on the Weather Share program, so he shares weather with me all the time. Uh, thank you very much for that catch, and uh, check out that some really cool uh, video. He got it really good. Over to uh, Disaster Alert Network. Floods expected to strand 1,800 people in New South Wales, Australia. The rising flood waters in the northern New South Wales town are expecting to leave 1,800 residents stranded for, for up to five days. Uh, they're uh, ferrying out supplies now to these stranded people, uh, helicopters and boats. And World Bank says floods, floods cost Thailand 45 billion U.S. dollars. There's another hit to the economy. And We got some heat wave uh, coming out of Finland and, and uh, Sweden. Uh, pleasant weather for this time of year in the Finnish town. 
uh, 80 kilometers north of the Arctic Sickle. Snow cover started November 17th. Uh, the latest data says it's supposed to warm up. Unusually warm weather delaying the onset of win winter in the northern uh, latitudes. Avalanche in Asia and uh, Kyrgyzstan. A snow avalanche kills three people. Two of them were Chinese citizens. And uh, the tropical cyclone. That's about all I have as far as climate change tonight. Uh, over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, we're going to go with E&E &E News tonight. Uh, they got their story. It's, it's like Russian roulette. Only one in ten school lunches in Fukushima are tested for radiation. Officials didn't even know testing equipment was available. Nice. We got a government survey. Um, Shinjuku, Tokyo, the third highest cesium levels of all testing locations throughout Japan. Large amounts of radioactive dust fell in Tokyo. And they've been breathing this for months. A government survey shows Fukushima fallout has spread everywhere in Japan. Now confirmed 1,700 kilometers away in Okinawa. And, uh... Yeah, that's about all they have new tonight. Um, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. I'll post your comments or uh, videos, of course. Uh, thanks a lot for your uh, support. And uh, the jacket stand, just think of this as my way of saying F you to the mainstream media. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Have fun.